Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, January 31, 2020. This video is uh, prompted by a comment from Mike Erstad uh, hypothesizing that this boat was in a port, a sweeping port turn when it accounted, uh, encountered the, uh, the bottom. Now, yesterday, Joe and I, without having this in place, were suggesting that because there was a gouge way up there, that everything was hit on this side, which drove these two frames into that chine frame. But in fact, uh, this morning, I decided after having read Mike's comment, I, I just ate at me, so I said, what the hell, let's try to put this thing back together and see if we can reconstruct what happened. Well, lo and behold, uh, we removed the crown nut because we need it for the, the new prop shaft, but uh, I think your eyes see what my eyes see. This thing was hit from over here. It was hit on the port side and driven towards starboard. And if you actually, oh, if we could put the, well, let me just do it. No, let me do it the right way. If you had the rudder back in place, you would see that the rudder is shaft and the rudder are also bent towards starboard. So she was hit. She hit a rock up there, made a big gouge. Were that all that had happened? I doubt the owners would even be aware that there was that big scrape that uh, threatened a, a breakthrough and, and mega water infiltration. But she hit the rocks there, and I'm just gonna let everybody else uh, argue amongst themselves as to what happened thereafter but it looks like she got hit there. She was going across the rocks at a, some kind of angle and then encountered them here. Um, if I move the camera so that we can see the leading edge of the, of the strut, it is pretty clear that she got bashed or it got bashed quite specifically right there, right on the port side. The strut is bent down. Look at the look at the prop shot. Whoops, excuse me. Trying to do two things at once. The strut is bent down. It's rotated rather oh I'd say through what would you guess? Twenty degrees? 25 degrees from where it sat originally and that's why the keel is broken down the prop shaft is very visibly bent and in fact it's interesting down here if we could get out and twirl it and I'm not going to do that it's bent the other way so uh, as that happened, as this was driven down, this frame was broken through and through in the middle. This frame was broken, uh, actually, not by downward force, but by, I think, upward force. So how did the chine frame on, start, on port get snapped? We know it did. We can see it. It snapped. And Joe and I played around with this a little bit last night. Once we get it apart, I mean, this is, this is broken seven-eighths of the way through. It just didn't break. The break didn't reach all the way to the exterior. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll add my two cents, but I really look forward to sharing and hearing, reading, 
your thoughts, but is it conceivable that as this thing's being bashed aft and towards starboard, that a torque force was visited way up here. We've got a long torque arm here. It's, what, 13 inches. And it is bent, but instead of just bending over, remember, this is cast bronze. The base kicks towards port. And in fact, that hypothesis has a little bit of support when you look at where the mounting holes and the mounting plate for the strut end up. So if in fact this thing being hit here caused the base to kick this way, then at least that gives us one potential explanation for the fact that the chine frames, uh, a chine frame singular snapped. What are your thoughts? Let's see what the community thinks about this. I think one thing we'll certainly agree on, uh, that this boat did not sink is truly amazing. But somehow the bilge pump kept up with the water coming in. Uh, remember the, the, uh, the bottom sheathing is two layers. That helps some. Um, the only real break through and through is right in this area. So there wasn't a huge hole in the bottom. But water was, it was, she was shipping water and shipping a lot, but the bilge pump was able to keep up, we're told. The bilge pump, in fact, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, is installed, well, I just don't remember now. No, I see it, the bilge pump is installed way up forward, which is typical in these boats. So, what do you think? Let's have a conversation and see if we can come to some sort of agreement. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.